In this video, we're going to integrate e to the bx, where b here is a constant uh, not equal to zero. So let me just emphasize that b is not equal to zero. So let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. Start by rewriting it. So we have the integral of e to the bx dx. So to do this problem, we start by making a substitution. We're gonna let u be equal to bx. And now we're going to differentiate both sides of this equation. On the left-hand side, we'll just get du. On the right-hand side, well, b is a constant, and the derivative of x is 1, so we just get b dx. And we don't have a b dx in our problem, so let's get rid of this b, because we want to make this right-hand side, b dx, look like what's in our problem. So let's divide by b, which we can do, because b is not 0. We have du over b, which I'm going to write as 1 over b du, and that's equal to dx. All right, so now we can make the substitution. This is equal to, so dx is 1 over b du. I'm going to factor out that 1 over b. So 1 over b, integral, and then du. So at this point, the only thing that's been replaced is dx. I replaced dx with 1 over b du. What's left is e to the bx, but bx is equal to u, so it's really just e to the u. When you integrate e to the u, you just get e to the u, so this is 1 over b, e to the u plus c. This becomes 1 over b, e to the bx, I don't know why I was going to put a 2 there, <laughs> bx, plus c, and you can leave it like that, or, or you can write it like this, e to the bx over b plus c. And this is very useful. This is a formula that you should use all the time. So just really quickly, let me show you how powerful this is. Say you have e to the 2x dx. So when you look at this, you just say, oh, okay, that's e to the 2x over 2 plus c, boom. There's no need to make a substitution. That's just something that you know, and this is something worth memorizing. If you have e to the 3x, it's e to the 3x over 3, etc. Very useful mathematics. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.